Okay, so this is um, for the first client. Um, so to begin with, I would just, I want to comfort you um, and check in with you. How are you feeling? Um, do you have any questions? Do you want to talk about something in specific? Um, and I would also want to check in and make sure that you're getting the proper support at home and that you're taking care of yourself. So um, nutrition and hydration and rest wise, just make sure that you're being wholesome um, and recovering appropriately. So the first thing is um, you desire to be pregnant again as soon as it's God's will. So I understand that. I relate to that. And I think that's beautiful that you're just being open. I want to validate that. So some the doctor who performed the procedure, so the ob -GYN, likely gave you guidelines on when they would suggest that you could um, have intercourse again. So some readings say two to three days, some say a couple of weeks, some say seven days. Um, so it just depends. Every procedure is a little bit different and everyone's body is a little bit different. So I would recommend that you follow those guidelines that that doctor gave you um, as they were the ones who actually performed the procedure. Um, but then also listen to your own body. So um, if it's painful, I wouldn't do it. If it's um, if you're still bleeding, I would just evaluate that. If you're bleeding picked up after, that can happen. Um, but make sure that it doesn't become extreme or excessive. So um, the bleeding, I mean. But really, it's about your comfort level and what you feel. So becoming pregnant. Uh, a lot of literature suggests that you should wait two to three months after a miscarriage. But this is your body and this is your choice. So the biggest thing of waiting would be to allow your body to just replenish itself or to allow your uterus to replenish its lining appropriately to support a healthy pregnancy. But that does not mean that people have not gotten pregnant right after and then have had a healthy baby. Of course they have. Um, but it's about what's best for you and your body. So it's really about tuning in and keeping yourself healthy and listening to um, what is going on with your body and following those guidelines um, that the doctor who performed the procedure gave you. So if anything were to come up, like if you didn't stop bleeding in the expected time, um, come back and talk to me or come back and talk to that doctor and see why that may be. Maybe you aren't resting enough. Um, that can be a really important aspect and can increase bleeding if you don't rest enough. Um, if you start feeling dizzy, lightheaded, flu-like feelings, um, that would also be a reason to reach out to one of the providers just to make sure that there's no infection present. So, um, okay. Do you have any questions? Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, but that's really just the gist of it. It's really going to be about following your body.